Oh, Aries, Aries, Aries. Happy birthday, guys. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy April Fool's for those of you who celebrate it. Depending on when I post this, it is my grandmother's birthday today. What a cool birthday, right? Let me tell you, when I say you can tell that it is retrograde, usually it don't bother me. It probably doesn't bother you guys either, usually. I'm not saying y'all don't have moments, you know. But we work really well, Aries or not, Crosswatcher, whoever clicked on this video. You probably tend to work pretty well under pressure, even if we don't necessarily ask for it or, you know, want it. It's not like we're welcoming it in. Like, pressure! Come on, pressure! Hi, pressure! Good girl! Come here, pressure! Come here! You know, but we just get it sometimes, and we just deal with it. So we can, we can thrive pretty well, and uh, we're just kind of resilient in situations like that. Let me tell you, when I say I woke up today and, like, everything is telling me, Hey! Bitch! is now even as i went to start the video like seconds before i click play my neighbors start their loud ass lawnmower which is fine it's fine people have to move their grass you know what i'm saying it's fine it's only like eight in the morning <laughs> it's fine it's, it's fine anywho so we're gonna go ahead and get started for my aries out there it's great it's fine guys i'm in a great mood i really you know what? We just we just deal, don't we? We just deal. Yeah, we do. We just do. That's what I'm saying, okay? That's what I'm talking about over here. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, Aries, I got a couple of things, but what's really standing out to me, or Crosswatcher, this could also be reversed, is, look, you got something really special happening right now, even through all and bullshit, okay? Even through all the chaos. If you don't know this yet and it hasn't come into your awareness, it's about to happen. So don't lose sight that good things, positive things great things can happen in the midst of some fucked up shit, okay? I'm getting a really weird vision. I don't know why I'm getting this vision. This has nothing to do with what I'm about to talk about. But this happened to me when I was a kid. It was something that I did, which was really idiotic. But I mean, I didn't know I was a kid. Anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute if I meant to. Weird. So, uh, it's like a pact, really. I don't know. Anyway. So Aries, yeah, you've got something really positive. If you're in a relationship, guys, whatever you guys have just recently went through, will go through, whatever, it's just going to strengthen the bond. Okay, even though it's like, it, why do I feel like it's going to be rough though? It's like fucked up shit, but that strengthens the bond. Okay, if you're meeting someone or something's coming together, fucked up shit is what causes the two of you to appreciate each other. Maybe y'all both came from some fucked up shit you know like you had a bad past or bad relationship issues and they had a bad past bad relationship issues or they're coming out of one or something you know some of you are dealing with a Taurus for sure because I did Taurus yesterday I don't know when I'm gonna post it but I got that for Taurus they had something very similar um it's just all in all kind of like what are the odds of this happening to us now like what are the odds of just what we've been through making us fall more in love with each other or making us fall in love period like what are the odds that's kind of what it feels like to me give me a minute guys i'm it's fine i knew this would happen you know it just i knew it the moment i woke up today shit started happening the moment i woke up and i'm like okay i'm just over here trying to keep my cool it's fine just give me a minute i didn't even start the timer anyway so we're good Alright guys, I don't think this poor man could have a louder lawnmower, but it's okay. If I sound like I'm complaining a lot, don't worry. I am. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop, guys. It's, it's a beautiful day. You know what? Anything from the ground up is good. As long as we're alive and we're still kicking, we have a chance to make shit good, make shit right, make shit better, to do well, okay? And that's, that's something that's very hard to remember in difficult trying situations and just constantly feeling like shit is thrown at you and I mean like it's not like you know it's not like you can't get through it okay whatever this is that you're going through right now with someone or you went through in your past aside from someone and y'all are meeting and coming together and it's kind of like it's this is not a trauma bond though let me go ahead and make sure I make myself clear on that this is not a trauma bond like you've had in the past with people Aries or Crosswatcher whatever's coming together or whatever you have with someone now if you already do this is not that situation this is very special this is we take care of each other we get each other 
We understand each other and I really fucking love you. I respect you. This is how you're gonna feel. And we need someone we can respect, really. And I hate even coming from a place of need, but I think y'all know what I mean when I say that. Like, I know I do. Like, I need someone I, I can respect, someone I can look up to, somebody that has good self-control. Someone that is also, has a fire for life though. Like when I get kind of in moods like this, they're gonna be able to pick me up, you know, and vice versa. Like they have that spitfire personality, but also very strong and resilient too. But, they, but they've also been through shit so they can relate to me, you know what I mean? But they've worked through it. They're willing to do the work. They're willing to take accountability. They're willing to fight for themselves really truly. You know what I mean? Like somebody I can look up to, that's the biggest thing. That is big for Aries. So again, you don't have to be an Aries watching this, but if you are specifically or you're taking on that energy, you probably would really appreciate someone you could look up to. And you probably don't see many of those people, at least for a romantic partner. So if you're looking for a romantic partner, look no more because I'm telling you, they already have their eyes on you. You may already know who they are or you don't actually know them or you don't know them at all. They're coming in for a lot of you. you this hasn't happened yet. But for some of you, it has, and you're with, like, your rock, really. You're their rock, they're, your, they're yours. Um, let's go back to this, this vision. I cannot speak, guys. Bear with me. This is going to happen, okay? I know some people get frustrated, but if you get frustrated, please just move to the side for now and um, understand that nobody's perfect and shit happens. You know, there's, there's times you're really on and there's times that you're not. And if you think that you're a person that you're always on, well, I'm not. And so you can find someone else respectfully who is always on and who always suits you. But right now it's just a day, a moment. It may end right when I click this video off that I speak clearly and I don't have any problems stumbling over my words, but I also have a learning disability. So that happens, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, let's talk about this vision that I was getting. I still don't know why I'm getting this vision of something that actually did happen to me when I was young, but I'm going to talk about it. So when I was, um, I don't know how old I was, but very young, young enough that I don't even think I have my period yet. Uh, my parents had this house in downtown Nashville and I can't remember for the life of me, like. I think we were in Nashville at the time. We may have been in Louisiana still, but anyway, they had this tree that was right by the road, not far from the road. I can picture it. The house also wasn't super close to the road, but it wasn't really far from the road. And um, I had the wise idea of picking up this glass that I found on the ground. And the only reason that glass would have been on the ground, like I thought of this, right, years later, it never dawned on me at the time, but I think I, the reason that I found glass by this tree is because it was so close to the road that people, when they drive by, they would just throw bottles out of their car. You know what I'm talking about? And they would break because it was like that type of glass. And I picked it up. In fact, it's this hand. It's my left hand, the feminine side of my body. And um, I had the wise idea of carving my name in the tree. So I squeezed it, not realizing, hey, you dumbass, it's glass. And I started carving my name in the tree. Like, that's fucking crazy, man, right? Like, when I think back about that, I'm like, you know, like that, who does that? M me, me. Okay, there's so many other things I've done. But that is like a huge sign, right? That or that, that she would be self-destructive growing up, you know? So anyway, I start screaming because I'm like, I, it took me a minute to realize that blood was like, pouring out of my hand because like this is deep I mean you see it really big you know I'll try to remember to take a picture and pipe it up here but uh yeah that's pretty fucked up you know anyway so my mom comes out and she's like freaking out right she's like what did you just what did you just do and I'm like I was carving my name in the tree man <laughs> and uh yeah so I don't know why I'm getting that vision here what does that have to do with anything it's I think it has to do with being hurt Maybe there's also a really deep mother wound here. Yeah, and I feel like crying. Someone here has a deep mother wound. You, maybe? It doesn't mean that you weren't close to your mother. Some of you, yeah. Some of you had a really shitty mother. Some of you may have even been hard on yourselves if you are a mother. Some of you always wanted to be a mother. Some of you still want to be a mother. 
Some of you, it's a mother wound, like maybe your mom passed soon, too soon. You were very close to her, or if she didn't pass, maybe something happened to her and you haven't been able to be close to her since. Like maybe she has um, an illness or something, like she can't, like your mom is there, kind of like my grandma right now with my mom. It's very hard to watch. Um, you know, when they start, when they lose their ability to communicate, and um, that's very, very hard. Mm. It's okay. I, I Apparently we need these messages, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to try to let the emotions flow and come as they need to, okay? Some of you definitely have a mother wound though because there's a reason that I started this video and then, then I got that vision. Like why would I remember that from my childhood right now? You know? Um... Whoever this is, somebody's really passionate about you as a person, Aries or Cross Watcher. I think also you're going to be passionate about them, passionate about what each other stands for, passionate about what each other does. I think you're going to have an immense amount of love and respect for one another, guys, truly. Or you already do if you have a partner right now. Um, you're going to understand the pain. You know, we can laugh all day. We're fucking comedians. Whoever clicked on this video, you can tend to laugh shit away and be a comedian, yeah? Same. And uh, it doesn't mean we're not funny. It doesn't mean we don't think fucked up shit. I didn't know we are. You know, we are funny. But we're also very serious. And uh, we can get really deep. And in fact, maybe that's what we, uh, we don't even know we're looking for. What we've been looking for is somebody who can cut us on a deep level, somebody who can go deep with us, someone who um, doesn't expect us to always be the life of the party and then laugh at us later and say like, oh, they're crazy. And it's like, well, then why don't you keep it going? Why don't you keep the conversation going? Why don't you make people laugh? Why don't you be the one that holds it all together and be the glue? Like, don't fucking blame me for shit. You know what I mean? Like, you've, you've went through a lot of trauma if you clicked on this video. And not just you, but whoever's coming into your life or whoever's currently in your life if you're in a relationship. You both experienced a lot of fucking trauma, especially in family. Who hasn't though? But I think I think what you've been through and what whoever this person's been through is pretty fucking awful. Okay, it's pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. And y'all both have a really deep mother wound. I'm sorry, you do. It's something to do with a mother here, and it's it's the the, the energy of it is really awful. And. uh You know what, I'm just gonna let it be like this. If you guys see me get uncomfortable, I'm gonna let it flow, right? I keep saying I'm gonna let it flow. I don't wanna keep holding it back and stuff. Like my mom's actually about to have her surgery. I don't know if she's already had it by the time I post this video, but um, it's gonna get really rough. It's about to get really rough starting now. And I'm aware of that. I'm very aware for a lot of reasons. <sighs> and it's fine, you know, like, we're made for it. But sometimes it's nice to have somebody who, like, fucking has your back, you know? We're not always angry. We're not always mad. We're not always comedians. Give me a minute. We only have 14 seconds on the clock anyway. Five. 14. That's a five. Change. Of course it is. One second. All right, guys, anyway, I'm going to start the timer again uh, just so I can have kind of a reference. It went off whenever I went and wiped my face, so we'll, we'll use that for reference. But anyway, um, listen to me. Um, you know it's okay to cry, right? Like, you know it's okay to feel your emotions. It's okay to be angry. I'd be fucking angry too at the shit that you experienced. And nobody knows what you've experienced. And you don't always have to be gentle. And you don't always have to be angry. And you don't always have to be defensive. And you don't always have to be passive. Like, it's okay to experience whatever your experience at the time that you're experiencing it. And I think that somebody's going to really truly understand you guys. Aries are cross watcher. And I think that you're going to understand someone. Unless this person's already in your life, you guys really get each other. I don't know. I, I'd hate to fill you with false hope and be like, oh, the one is coming in. and You know what I mean? Or you're with the one and nothing bad's ever going to happen. No bad shit will happen. It will always happen, you know? 
as long as we're in these bodies having a human experience, we're going to experience the rise and the fall, you know. Um, but you and another person were cut from the same cloth, and however you guys choose to move forward, I'll say it like that, it's going to be beautiful. Whether you get together, whether you get married, you fall in love, whether you have children or family, whether you merge families, if they already have one, you do, whether you keep your family together, if you're in one already, like whatever it is, you know, whether you just become best friends or you you're like each other's mentors or each other's teachers or each other's confidants, you know, genuine ones, not fake fuckers, you know, whatever it is, it's like the light in your darkness instead of you always having to be the light in everybody's fucking darkness, you know what I mean? I don't think people realize that about whoever clicked on this video. It, it's not a mistake, you know, that you clicked on this video. Whatever your fucking sign is, it doesn't matter. Your soul, which doesn't really have a zodiac sign, it came through this existence into a body that has zodiac signs and a chart. Which if you guys, like, no offense to anybody who goes by that, because, like, I'm really into that stuff. I think it's really cool, but at the end of the day, coming from an eye place, like, I'm well aware that I'm not any of it, and I'm all of it. Like, I'm adopted, you know, so I'll never know my birth chart. In fact, I thought I knew my birth chart because I was told a birth time, and then I found out it was a lie. I actually found out a lot of lies that I was told <sighs> about um, shit. And uh, my birth time was one of them, so, like, I'll never know my birth chart. And um, originally, the times that I was told I, I would have been, a, like, a Gemini rising and a Pisces moon, but because I will never know the time I was born, it's not on my birth certificate, and I don't think the hospital is even there I was born at anymore. So uh, I look at it, and I could be sad about it or be like, does it even fucking matter? I mean, you know, I came here for a different reason. I think it's beautiful for the people who do know theirs. I think that there's something to that, and they probably should. And again, it's not, and it's nothing to knock anybody who does and who's really into that, but also it doesn't matter at the end of the day for everyone. Some people, that's their story to know those things. And others of us, I guess you could call us like the aliens, you know what I mean? What is identity? I've already had like three names since I've come into this human existence. I've been told so many things. I have so many stories per everyone's perspective. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> like, whatever. Just like I said the other day in a video, like, I am whatever you say I am. I mean, I don't think that was one of the most intelligent things I ever heard from Eminem, whom is, I believe, a Libra, which is technically my opposite as an Aries. And I totally relate to that. I'm like, wow. So some of you, you struggle with identity, not just mother wounds, family wounds, but identity. Like, who am I? What am I? Maybe even your sexuality. You know, that's also okay. Like, people want to know what you are, who you are, what is this? I want to know every little intricate detail about you. And it's like, look, I may not have one. I just am whatever I am. And that's okay. You can't categorize me. There's another one out there like you, Aries. You're not alone or cross -bludger. I want you to know that. And um, you guys are going to do incredible things together on this planet. They have their eye on you. They're watching you and they're moving towards you. They're coming. They may be moving towards you. It could be like, you know, a distance. If you're already with this person, you guys are going to get through whatever you go through because you both really genuinely love and understand and respect each other because you know what it takes by what you've both been through. It's okay to be sad sometimes. It's okay to fucking go through it, you know? It's okay to not fit in. It's okay to be misunderstood and people are going to think whatever they want about you. Let them. They do it anyway, you know what I mean? I don't know about you, but you don't have to be an Aries watching this. I know I say that a lot, but genuinely, I say it to every sign. This is why I'm open to not more than just the sign that's on the fucking thumbnail, okay? I feel like I believe in divine timing. You clicked on it for a fucking reason, right? There's something here for you, whether it's now or later, or for somebody you know, but 
um, you're like a misfit, right? And you may feel like you're always dumped on because you're the one that has to kind of go first at war. Like you're the one that has to try everything first and everybody just gets to watch and watch you fail, watch you rise, watch you make your mistakes or whatever you want to call them, you know, like everybody gets to watch it and then, then they go about their life. But like, I don't know, you're really a leader and you don't, um, you don't really get enough credit for that. If anything, you get slack and then everyone, uh, thinks they can figure it out and it's like well how about you go before me then how about you all go before me and uh, tell me how it works for you mm. you feel like the weight of the world's on your shoulders especially right now whenever you click on this video I don't care what it says when I posted this you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders at this very moment and uh, it's just going to get harder. You know it. It's not, this isn't uh, like you're thinking negative. You know it, meaning uh, something or some things have happened where you feel like you're just kind of overwhelmed. You're pulled in a lot of different directions right now or you will be due to responsibilities and obligations and things like that. Just normal human experience stuff. And then we don't even know about the things that, are, that will happen that we don't expect. I just want you to know uh, I'm going through this with you right at this very moment and there was it's not a mistake that we got this video out today I usually wait to post this until I get all the other ones but because I'm still doing bonuses and this is going to be the video for the new series I'm going to post this before I start the other ones or before the other ones get posted um, but they're they're going to come when I can get them okay guys so hold tight please know that I'm going through a lot and if you choose to stay I'm really thankful, and if you choose to go, I hope that you're blessed. But um, I'm gonna fight as hard as I can to get out what I need to get out, and be as prompt and work as hard as I've been working. I just have a lot on my plate, and uh, it's coming in the next 24 hours, and so. Uh, Bear with me if you feel that you can and that I'm worth it. And if not, then I, I get it. <laughs> I, I do. All right, guys. So uh, look forward to love. Look forward to holding the partner that you have if you have one. And loving them through whatever they're going through, vice versa. And uh, if you're single, look forward to love coming towards you. Genuine love. And you don't have to get with them if you don't want to. They'll understand whatever you decide, you know? Like, this is a real person. This is a real one. And their love is not going to change based on what you decide. It's not conditional. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.